Hey everyone, Stay at Home Stitcher here. My name is Erin and I'm here to do a another unboxing video. So sit tight, there's gonna be crinkling. So if you have headphones in, you might wanna turn me down a little bit. Um, this one's fun. I have like four of these to do. So if I'm in the same shirt for multiple videos, y'all just roll with me. I've been busy. I've had family visiting and so it's been chaotic to say the least. Um, let's get started. I got my coffee. Here comes some crinkling. So this unboxing video is for the company DIYDigitalArt.com. Um, they contacted me, wanted to know if I wanted to do a collaboration with them for some unboxings. And so I'm going to show you what I picked out from their website. There was so much to choose from. It's always hard for me to decide which ones I want because I just love them. So so here's the first one. We're just going to set that right there. The first one is... It's a stamped kit and it's got like a little Hedwig owl with a Harry Potter scar and Hogwarts symbol with the different house colors. And it's like a dream catcher. So I'm excited to do this one because it is super cute. Um, this one has this. So the background is all stitched, which sometimes you never know sometimes. And I don't know if I'm going to stitch the background or not. Um, this one does have 43 colors, so it's got a lot of colors. So here's the canvas. There we go. It is surged around the edges. Um, it is a 40 by 55 centimeter. Uh, the stitch count is 148 by 213. And this one is 11 count fabric. Um, I say this one almost stitches up like a 14. I like the 11 counts because they're easy on the eyes after working on such small counts that I normally do. So, and then it comes with this little tool kit and it's got this little pom-pom with some needles, uh, this little gold thimble and a needle threader. Wow, brain fart. And all of these colors. There are a ton of colors. So 43 colors, y'all, that's a lot. So since the background is all stitched, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four hanks of B5200. Now these are the uh, CXC, the Chinese equivalent to DMC. And they're just so, so soft. I would rather stitch with these than DMC, to be honest. Um, they're, they're just super soft. So, there's that. Let's see some other colors here. Sometimes the way they have these packaged, they come kind of tangled. Um, I really wish that they had a better system for that. So yeah, as you can see, sometimes they're more tangled than other times. And it really just depends on how many colors there are. So it looks like this. Some of my colors pulled out. So like I said, sometimes I wish there was a better method of like wrapping these so it's not as chaotic. So now I have to go through and oh, I think it came off of this one right here. 
We're going to throw it on there and I'll check it later. Double check it, I should say. Because, I mean, it matches pretty well, so. So, there's some of the colors of the blues. And see, I always wrap my threads like this. So, it's not tangled. It's wrapped pretty neatly. It doesn't, doesn't get chaotic. So, see how chaotic this is? See, I've got, I got threads falling off of this. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is my honest unboxing, y'all, because this is, I shouldn't have threads falling off my thread organizers. But, y'all are seeing it firsthand. I haven't opened any of these yet. I do know what I ordered, so I know which company it's from, but... I'm hoping one day they can come up with a better way to send these threads. Okay, so there's the first one. This next one is called um, Honey, I think it's like Honey Bee Harvester or something like that. I'm gonna have All of these links down below. Okay. I'm kind of just making a stack back there behind the camera. So. Here's this one. I really like this one. It's cute. Okay, so this one is a counted kit and here's the colors apparently the background is stitched because I have like a whole hank of white there um, it's got some really pretty spring colors and then came with the needles stuck in the fabric and here is the canvas. So it's got like this bluish tint to it. I think that's just the ink for the gridding. And then there's the pattern. I mean, it's like a, basically like a stamped kit, just not stamped. Um, it is a 35 by 40 centimeter. And it's got 25 colors. So yeah, the whole background is stitched, but I probably won't stitch the background. Um, I'll just, when I wash the fabric, it's going to be white. So I'm not going to stitch the white as well. That makes sense. Let's put this back with that. So that one's a counted kit. So that one's a little bit different than what I normally choose. And then my last one from this company is Gryffindor. It's a 14 count. And they had the other houses as well um, on their website. So this is a 40 by 40 centimeter. That's what it's gonna look like. This is on the paper that I like. It's like a glossy back um, and it unfolds. And the pattern is fairly large it's easier to see Put that right there. this one is a counted as well so I have just the gridded fabric I mean it's not all the gridded I guess I can take a ruler and grid it but I got the fabric it's got the key down the side it's got the picture A needle that may have that may have fell out the other one 
because this one has a toolkit with the thimble, the pom-pom, the needles, and the threader. And here are the colors. So you can definitely tell Gryffindor colors, um, reds, maroons, there's a couple yellows. I'm excited to do this because that lion laying there was pretty cool. So these are a little bit different than what I normally do. So when I collaborate with these companies, I'm normally getting the stamped kits. Um, I decided to try a couple of their counted kits from this website so that I can tell you guys, you know, the difference and stuff and have you guys see all the variety of what they offer. So again, that is for DIYDigitalArt.com and I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing video. I am going to get some of these maybe started stitched or put them in my pile of to-do list. Um, Stay tuned for another unboxing video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.